This neighborhood is completely destroyed. I hope there are survivors. That's my spidey sense, Tim. There has to be another survivor. Hey, little one. Let's try to find your parents. Is there anyone out there alive? Can you hear me? Hello? <laughs> Where are you, Spider-Man? I know you're here. I need to get this baby to safety. No time for distractions. Spider-Man, oh great. What is it this time? I found this baby in a fire. We need to help him. We're too busy dealing with all the fires around the city. We can't take another kid. He needs a safe place to stay. He's just a baby. Aren't you the one that's the superhero? Your job's to protect people. Why don't you just adopt him or something? Fine, I'll adopt him then. It's the right thing to do. Now get lost. I got a lot of fires to put out, literally. All right, little one. It looks like it's just you and me now. I think I'm gonna name you Doug. Hey everyone, look who we have here, Doug the Liar! Hey, I'm not a liar. Yeah, you are. He says his dad's Spider-Man. Spider-Man is my dad. He adopted me when I was a kid. Well, prove it, idiot. Show us your web-slinging skills. Fine, I'll show you. All right, Doug, you can do this. Come on, man. You're gonna be a hero someday. You know it. Now, how does he do this thing? It's just a jump and a- ah! What a pathetic idiot! Looks like a real hero there. Oh, man, I need help. Hello? Yeah, I need an ambulance. Some idiot thinks he's Spider-Man and fell off a building. <laughs> I know, right? What a loser! Doug, how many times have I told you not to try and act like me? I was just trying to prove to them that you're Spider-Man. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. You're my son and that's all that matters. I want to be a hero like you. I want to make a difference in this world. Doug, you already are a hero in your own way. Being brave, compassionate, and standing up for what's right. That's what makes a true hero. You don't have to put yourself in danger to prove anything. You have the power to make a positive impact in other ways. All right, I'll try to remember that. Uh-oh. My spidey senses. Sorry, Doug. Uh, duty calls. Hey, well, what about dinner? We'll have dinner together soon. Just stay here and stay safe. All right. Well, I guess I'll grab some food by myself then. Oh, man. My leg is killing me. Maybe that was stupid. Should have been more careful. Uh, give me all your money. Not on my watch. Oh, you crazy kid. What's wrong with you? Leave everyone alone. Oh, that was incredible. You're a hero, kid. Free burgers for you for a whole month. Thanks, man. But let's just keep this between you and me, okay? My dad's gonna be really mad if he finds out that I just did that. No way! I'm telling everyone! You're a true hero! Thanks, man. I'll take the free burgers, but please, like, you don't have to tell anybody. I'm just happy to help. Yeah, all right, man! Woo! Oh, man, come on. Seriously? Here he is, the kid hero! You stopped a criminal from robbing a restaurant blind. How does it feel, man? It feels all right. You know, I was just trying to help out, that's all. Wait a minute, I know you. You're Spider-Man's kid, aren't you? No, I don't know a Spider-Man. Kid Spider-Man's coming out for you criminals. All right, I, I need to go inside. Do you mind explaining why a whole news crew is in front of our house right now? I'm sorry, look, I was just going out for food and a robber came, so I stopped him. You can't keep getting yourself in trouble. Now with all this attention on us in this house, it's all dangerous. Well, you get attention all the time. I can handle it. There are dangerous people out there who might want to hurt you to get to me. Do you understand this danger? I do, but I'm not scared. I stopped that robber and I can stop more. It's about keeping people around you safe, making the right choices. I just told you that. You have so much potential and you're my son. I just want to protect you. Well, I don't need your protection. I'll show you. I'm going to be a hero too. I can't believe dad made me stay home for two weeks. Finally, I'm back in school. At least I'm feeling better, though. Oh, look who it is, baby loser Spider-Man! You're not a hero, Doug. You wish you were, but you're not. You suck! Ugh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Doug, do something, man! Shut up, you big baby! So, you're Spider-Man's kid, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, oh, this is going to be fun. Do you even know who I am? Yeah, I know who you are. You're a jerk, and I'm not afraid of you. Oh, you should be. Ah! Uh, no! Oh, how pathetic. Let me go, you stupid freak. Freak, huh? <laughs> good one, good one. I am a freak. And you're not getting out of here until your dad gets here, little hero. Now, tell me, do you have the same powers as Spider-Man? 
No, I was adopted. Adopted? Oh, how sad. My dad found me in a burning neighborhood that some criminal destroyed 10 years ago. They killed my family, and I was the only survivor. 10 years ago? Oh, that criminal that destroyed your home? That was me. You? You took my family from me? Not on purpose, but yes. Oh, how poetic that I get to kill your family again. You ruined my life. Yeah, I get that a lot. Enough, Goblin! Leave him alone! <laughs> Run, Doug! Get out of here! No, I want to stay and fight with you. No, you have to go now! All right, be careful, Dad. Mary Jane, Spider-Man's in trouble. We need to do something. I know, Doug. Look at the news. It's all over the reports. In a shocking turn of events, Spider-Man has been captured by the Green Goblin. We've just received a video message from the villain himself. Let's take a look. Soon, Spider-Man will be gone, and the city will be mine forever. <laughs> Say goodbye to your precious little spider twerp. Oh, he captured him? But how? I don't know, and I don't know what to do this time. It just seems more serious than before. It's my fault, Mary Jane. The Green Goblin kidnapped me. I should have stayed and helped him. No, it's not your fault. You couldn't have known. Yes, it is. And I'm gonna fix it. Dad needs my help. Doug, where are you going? You can't just run off. I have to do this. Oh, where are your Avenger friends now, Spidey? I'm sure they're on their way right now. <laughs> I doubt it. You're done for! This is bad. I need to do something. Come on, Doug, think. What would Dad do? This might be my only chance. I'll keep you alive just long enough to witness the destruction of your precious family, then your stupid city, and then I'll end you. <laughs> Doug, what on earth? I'm here to save you. Come on. Ah, uh, I'm really hurt, Doug. We need to find help. Don't worry. I've got it covered. I texted the cops earlier. It should be showing up any minute now. Freeze, Goblin! We got you surrounded! You haven't won yet, Spider-Man! This isn't over! Get over here! No way! You're never gonna catch me! Yeah, wanna bet? Hi! Do you have a moment to talk to your friendly neighborhood spider? Oh, why? I had a feeling I'd find you here. Where else would I be? Home? Where you belong? told you time and time again not to put yourself in harm's way. I've saved you before and I can handle this. I'm gonna be a hero too. You don't have any superpowers like I do. You could get hurt. Well then train me. I want to learn. I want to make a difference. Just like you. I can't stand by and watch other people suffer. I want to seek justice for my parents' death and protect the world just like you do. How come you can't see that? If you're serious about this and you understand the risks involved, maybe I can train you. But remember, this isn't a joke, Doug. I have a place in mind where we can start your training. Whoa, what is this place? Well, before I can train you, I want you to attend this superhero school and learn from the best. It'll test your commitment and show me you're truly serious about your path. I'll prove it to you, Dad. I won't let you down. You guys are late. Classic Spider-Man. Yeah, sorry about that, Iron Man. This is my son, Doug. He wants to follow in our footsteps and become a hero. Ah, so you got spider powers like your dad, huh? No, actually, I don't. I adopted him after a Green Goblin. Yeah, after he killed my family. Ah, oh, that's tough. Green Goblin's a terrible villain. I hate that guy. I have to go. Good luck, son. I believe in you. Listen to what the nice Metal Man dude has to say, okay? Metal dude? Ugh. All right, so you have no powers at all? No, but I know that I can become a hero and do the right thing. I'm ready to learn and prove myself. I like your attitude, Doug. Let's get you settled in. Tomorrow, our training begins. Yeah, I was basically born with my powers. I don't even know why my dad is making me go here. I've been flying before I could even walk. Hey guys, uh, I'm Doug. I'm new here. Yeah, I heard about you. You're the kid with no powers. Uh, what are you even doing here? Same as everyone else. I'm here to become a hero, just like my dad, Spider-Man. Spider-Man isn't your dad. You're just normal. There's nothing special about you. Stay out of the way of the real heroes. All right, everyone. It's time to put your skills to the test. Show me what you've got. Blake, you're up first. <laughs> See? I'm destined to be the greatest hero of all time. Right in front of Iron Man. Cool. Uh, now, Doug, it's uh, it's your turn. You know I don't have powers. I'll work on being the best hero I can be. Oh, look at this loser. Best hero I can be. You think you're a hero without any powers? That's enough, Blake. 
Your attitude and disrespect won't be tolerated here. Leave the class immediately. You're such a loser, Doug. I won't forget about this. Don't let Blake get to you. Even I think he's obnoxious. You have the heart of a hero. Let's continue with training and show everyone what you're capable of. Whoa, really? Man, that kid sounds like a loser. Yeah, he definitely acts like it. But I don't care that I don't have powers. There's plenty of heroes that don't have superpowers. It's true. Doug, I want you to know I've always been proud of you. Being a hero is very dangerous, and I never wanted that for you. But with me as your dad, I guess there's no avoiding it. Just promise me you'll be careful. Thanks, Dad. I promise. I have to go now. Mysterio is up to his usual mess again. But we'll talk soon. Love you, son. Love you too, Dad. Love you too, Dad. <laughs> Calling and crying to your fake dad, huh? Yeah, fake dad. Ha ha ha, good one, dude. You think you can get your way just because your dad is friends with all the other heroes? You only got into this school because Spider-Man felt bad for you and gave you a place to live. No, I'm here because I want to learn how to help people. Not to be a jerk who brags about himself all the time. Yo, I think he's talking about you, dude. I know he is, idiot. Take that back. Ha! Ah! I may not have powers like you, Blake, but I won't let that stop me from standing up for what's right. Blake, maybe we should go. This isn't right. I said shut up, Billy. This loser needs to learn his place. Come on, Billy, let's go. Mr. Stark, I want you to know that I'm not here just because my dad wants me to be. I genuinely want to be a hero. Doug, your dad has mentioned that to me many times. He's really proud of you for your determination. I know you're here because you want to be. Well, thanks for understanding, sir. I'm ready to learn, train as hard as I can. Good, becoming a hero takes a lot of work. It's gonna be tough on you. Are you ready? I am ready. Well then why are we waiting? Let's start training. <laughs> wow, Mr. Stark, training's going great. I feel like I'm getting stronger every day. Yeah, you're doing great. Tomorrow? We'll finally put your skills to the test with the obstacle course. We'll see how much progress you made. Keep up the great work, Doug. I got high hopes for you, man. That's not fair. He's always doing better than me. Well, no more. I'll shit him. Keep it up, Doug. You're doing great. Yeah, I got this. This is awesome. Let's see if you got this. Oh! Ah! What do you think you're doing, Blake? Attacking a fellow trainee? Are you out of your mind? Is this a loser, Mr. Stark? He shouldn't even be here. I am the best hero. Your behavior is unacceptable. Attacking someone because of your own insecurities shows that you're not ready to be a hero. What? But I'm ready. I'll be taking this matter to the hero council. Your actions today may result in your expulsion from the the program. Hope it was worth it. No, you can't do that. Just because of this idiot. No, it's because of your attitude and lack of respect for others. You need to reassess your priorities and learn what it truly means to be a hero. So if you want to blame someone, blame yourself. You won't find whatever. This place sucks anyways. Hi, you. Not now, Blake. I don't have time for this. Well, you're gonna make time for this. You got me kicked out of school, idiot. How dare you? I didn't do anything, Blake. You were the one that couldn't handle your own jealousy. I wasn't jealous. Jealous of what, you? Y'all right. I was showing you your place. You have no powers. You're useless here. I'm here because I deserve to be. Look at your own actions, Blake. You're the one that's been acting like a jerk. You know what, man? I'm not feeding into this. I'm sorry you got kicked out. Wish you the best of luck. Best of luck? Don't just walk away from me. I'm more of a hero than you'll ever be, Doug. And you know it. Oh, I hate him so much. You just wait. I'll make sure you regret this. Thanks for coming to my graduation, Dad. I couldn't have done it without your support. Of course. You're my son, and I'm incredibly proud of you. Top of your class, too? This is just the beginning of your journey. Speaking of which, can you start training me now? I'm finally ready to help you out. You know, I think it is time we start your training. I think you and I are going to make a great team. This should have been my graduation. It's not fair. That loser dog took my spot. Hey, you can stop right there. You're no longer a student here, and this is a celebration, not a platform for your bitterness. Guess he still doesn't know what it means to be a hero. This isn't the last you'll see of me. Just you wait. Just you wait. Man, I'm so sick of that guy. He tries to ruin everything for me. Just Jealousy makes people do crazy things. We'll deal with that another time. Today is about celebrating your achievements, Doug. Let's focus on that. Yeah, you're right, Dad. No matter how hard he tries, he can never take that away from me. You warned me the first time. Hand over all your money. Okay, okay, just take it. Please don't hurt me. This is it. 
Oh man, you broke. This sucks. I need a new job. You know, I agree with you. You do need a new job. Oh, oh great job. You really are becoming a hero. That was a pretty good quip too. Hey, I think this belongs to you. Thank you so much. I was scared. I, I don't know what I would have done. Man, I'm so grateful I get to do this with you, Dad. Being a hero feels amazing. You know, you're not my biological son, but I love you like my own. I'm proud of the hero you're becoming. Going to superhero school was the right decision. You might be right, Dad. I'm lucky to have you. Ugh, this better be the right spot. Um, hello? Who even are you? You're not supposed to be here. Move aside, fatty. Ow! What the heck is wrong with you? You're so mean. I'm out of here. Well, well, who do we have here? Someone that needs your help. My help? Do you even know who I am? Oh, of course I do. You're the Green Goblin. I want revenge, just like you. On Spider-Man and his stupid son. If I release you, you have to assist me. Deal? <laughs> revenge on Spider-Man? You've got a deal. Free me from the cell and we'll make the Spider-Man family pay. Now you're free. You'll do what I say. <laughs> now let's get out of here and plan some revenge. <laughs> I thought you said that Rhino was a tough villain, Dad. Uh, that's because he is. Well, we took him down pretty easy. Yeah, it's because there's two of us now. Before it was just me. Hello? Can the little spider come out to play? Dad, is that? No. No, it can't be. <laughs> well, well, Spider-Man, we meet again. You and your pathetic little sidekick here are no match for me. Who let you out of prison, you big green clown? Ho, 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 wouldn't you like to know? You're the one that got me stuck in that place. Now it's time for my revenge. <laughs> I can't let him get away. Doug, stay here. Stay here, Dad, I can help. Oh, this should show him. Ha! No, Mary Jane! Hang on, Mary Jane. I'll get you out of here. I'm glad you're okay, MJ. You had me worried for a second. Doug? <coughs> who was that person? I couldn't see who it was. It happened so fast. It's bad enough that Green Goblin is out of prison, but now there's someone else to worry about? Don't worry, MJ. We'll protect you. Dad and I won't let anything ever happen to you. Mary Jane, you're okay. Oh, thank goodness. Doug, what happened? You ran after the Green Goblin and left me alone. But someone else was there and they attacked us. Doug, I told you to stay behind to keep you safe. I, I didn't know someone else was there. Well, look at what good that did. Guys, arguing won't solve anything. We need to focus on finding out who this new villain is. One working with the Green Goblin. You're right, MJ. We gotta work together and find out who's behind this. I'll do whatever it takes. Uh, I'm sorry, Doug. I let my obsession with the Green Goblin cloud my judgment. I was being impulsive and I wasn't thinking straight. It's okay. I understand. I'm sorry I wasn't able to help. We didn't stop Goblin or whoever this mystery person is, but you saved MJ from that fire. You did more than enough. I just wonder who that other person is. They must have broken Goblin out of prison. Well, whoever they are, they made a big mistake. I believe in both of you. Together, you'll make things right. What do you know, Finkleberry? How did the Green Goblin escape? I don't know. You were the security guard. You better start talking. Oh, look at you, big tough guy. Shut up and get lost. I don't have time for your nonsense. I'm a busy popular icon. An icon! No more games, Finkleberry. I need to know what happened. Why did the Green Goblin escape? I'm not telling you anything. You suck. And you're a fake hero. A fake! Ow! Hey! That really hurt, you punk. Why is everyone hitting me? That was nothing. If you don't tell me the truth, I'll have you thrown in jail. What? No! Jail sucks! I hate jail! I hate it. Well, you don't want my dad to come down here, do you? Ugh, fine! Do you want to know so bad? Some overconfident loser with superpowers came in and blasted me to the ground. He made me cry! It's all on tape if you don't believe me. Show me. Fine. Go look for yourself. It's all on this stupid screen. See? Look! He made me cry! I hate whoever that jerk is. Blake? Seriously? I had no idea he would stoop this low. Also, he didn't even use his superpowers against you. He just called you fat. Stop! 
Lake? Ugh, what a stupid name. Honestly, who cares? One less prisoner for me to watch. I hate my job. Now leave me alone. Yeah, no problem. By the way, you have any spare cash? I forgot my lunch today and I'm starving. I need some more money to buy lean cuisines. You're on your own, Finkleberry. Ah, why does everyone hate me? <laughs> All right, well, uh, what about Cap? Surely he can help. He's busy fighting Hydra right now. Plus, you don't need that goody two-shoes to help you. I am definitely going to tell him you said that. He knows, he knows. Doug, what are you doing here? We're in the middle of an important discussion. I know who helped Green Goblin escape. And how would you know that? We're still gathering information. I saw the security camera footage. It was Blake. He freed the Green Goblin. Blake? That snobby kid? Why would he help Goblin? I think it's because he blamed me for getting kicked out of school. He's looking for revenge. You need to find Blake and put an end to his actions before he causes more harm. Uh, no, I don't think so. I have to do this, Dad. We have bigger issues to work on. We have a psychotic green freak flying around we have to stop. <sighs> You're right, Iron Man. We'll protect the city and stop whatever plans Green Goblin has in store. Doug, go and try and stop Blake. But if anything happens to you- Stop babying him. You and I both trained him well. I think he can handle it. I can. I got this. Okay, okay, fine. If you get in any trouble, call for backup. Yeah, I will. Well, if I was Blake, this is where I would be hiding. Man, he can't be a supervillain. He wanted to be a hero, just like me. He's got to be something else, too. Oh! Oh, stand still, you idiot! What's your problem, Blake? You know exactly what my problem is. You! You stole my future! I didn't do anything. We could have been friends if you weren't such a jerk to me. Ha! Yeah, well, I'll never be friends with you. I made a big mistake letting the Green Goblin out. He's evil and cares about no one. You think he's gonna help you? Yes, he is. He's gonna do whatever I say. I didn't make a mistake, you did. Now the two of us are gonna take over this city. Goblin's gonna teach me how to be the villain I was always meant to be. And my first order of business is to destroy your pathetic father! I'm tired of you! Ugh. Ugh. This isn't over, Doug! It's just the beginning! I'm destined for something greater! Greater than this! Get back here, Blake! You're the one with the superpowers! Why are you running away? Shut up! I hate you! Oh, that stupid dog! I want to punch his stupid face! You? Ugh. What are you doing here? I need your help fighting Dog. I can't stop him on my own. I got scared I had to fly away. I knew you were weak. You're nothing but a disappointment. No, I'm not. You have to teach me how to be a better villain. You suck at being a teacher. <laughs> teach you? Why would I waste my time on someone as insignificant as you? Because I let you out of prison. That was the deal. I trusted you. You want a lesson? Okay, let me teach you the first thing about being a villain. Rule number one, don't trust anyone, especially another villain. Thanks for letting me out, punk, but now you've outlived your usefulness. But, but I thought, I thought I was a villain too. I thought you'd help me. Oh, you're nothing but a scared, clueless idiot. Time's up, Blake. No! I can still prove myself! I promise! I'm a- oh! Whoa! Oh, that's it! Run away, you pathetic baby! Run! <laughs> Any update on Goblin? Nothing. He's in hiding. Just waiting to strike. I know it. Did you find out where Blake went? No, kind of hard to follow someone that can fly whenever they want. Yeah, tell me about it. We can't let Blake get away with this. We have to find a way to defeat him and Green Goblin. We will, I promise. I'm so proud of how far you've come, Doug. You've shown great courage and dedication. I'm sorry for yelling at you before, especially with what happened with MJ. I was just really scared for you both. I know, Dad. Uh, I'm glad Mary Jane's doing better now. And the house got fixed, too. Hello! Itsy Bitsy Spider had his house blown up! <laughs> Doug, are you okay? I'm fine, Dad. You just made a big mistake, Goblin. Huh? Not this time! Ha! Ha! Oh. You're coming with me, Spider Twerp! Dad, no! Say goodbye to your dad! Again! <laughs> what happened here? I could sense a disturbance. Green Goblin attacked my dad again, Iron Man. He managed to overpower us and he took him with him. 
Oh, great. Well, I'll do everything I can to track them down and stop Goblin's plans. They won't get away with this, Doug. I promise. Yeah, I promise too. I'll stop Goblin and Blake. This has to end now. I've got a lock on him. Just ahead. Blake, it's over. Surrender now. Yeah, we might show you some mercy. No, 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 no. I'm not surrendering. I'm not going to prison and you can't stop me. Y you do know I'm Iron Man, right? I can just blast you all the way to Saturn with this suit. Oh, you wouldn't dare. Oh! Man, I really think you underestimate our abilities, Blake. It's time to face the consequences for your actions. No, not this time. Seriously? I mean, come on. Just tell us, Blake, where is the Green Goblin? I already betrayed him. I don't care what happens to him or you. I don't care at all. You betrayed him? Yeah, right. More like Goblin betrayed you. Just like I said he would. Now, please, Blake, help us. <sighs> Fine. If you're gonna go take down Green Goblin, I'll help you. He's a jerk. His base is just outside the city north of Central Park. Doug, I'm gonna confront the Green Goblin at his lair. It's up to you to bring Blake to justice. No. It's me that has to stop the Green Goblin. He's already taken my family once, and I won't let him do it again. I have to save my dad. You're a true hero, kid. I trust you can handle this. I'll take care of Blake and meet you later. I won't let you down. Tick tock, tick tock, Spider-Man. Oh no, your time is running out. Uh, shut up, Goblin. You're in no position to tell me what to do. Soon, you'll be nothing but a forgotten memory. The world will rejoice, free from the nuisance of pathetic Spider-Man. Evil never wins, Goblin. Good will always prevail. You'll see soon enough. <laughs> I'm here to put an end to this, Green Goblin. You? Ha! Don't make me laugh! You're going to stop me? With what powers, little hero? I don't need powers to be a superhero. Courage and determination's all it takes. Ugh, pathetic. You've caused enough pain and destruction. It ends now. No, not again. <laughs> Doug, thank you. You did it. You stopped him. Of course I did, but I couldn't have done it without you.